dollars. Coming next is another one of our prize possessions, another one of our prize students who has entered this competition, and guess what? She's chosen the profession of professions. And who could guess what profession that is? She's a teacher. And I was so happy when I found out she's now teaching at Aquinas College. So give it up for Janelle Watkins, who participated in this competition, Junior Senior College Divisions. Now Janelle will come to present the winners of the college division. Good evening, everyone. So as Ms. Wright has just introduced me, my task tonight is to give a brief reflection on my experience with the competition over the years, as well as to present the awards for the college essay division. My laws of life essay competition experience can be epitomized by the words of the great Chinese proverb and the law of life. A journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. When I first entered this competition in 2011, I never thought that a single essay, a single competition, or a single first place winning would place me as an opportunity to fall in love with writing and that that would eventually lead me to my future educational and career pursuits. After winning the junior division in 2011, I participated and I placed in the competition for the next five years. I looked forward to the competition each year and I eagerly took on the challenge of researching and writing about the various topics and its relevance to our general lives, the Bahamas and the global society. Throughout the years, I have written about laws of life such as, a good reputation is more valuable than money, crime does not pay, progress requires change, and change your mind to change your life. My continued participation in this competition, as well as other essay and speech competitions, caused me to develop a passion for writing that prompted me to become an English studies major at the now University of the Bahamas. Presently, I share my passion with my seventh and eighth grade students at the great Aquinas College. And I am overjoyed that I have two of my seventh grade students, Hayden and Shawnee, who are finalists this evening. In this vein, I am certain that the legacy of this great competition will continue, and I sincerely thank the, the Templeton Foundation for continuing to provide young persons with opportunities to write and share their views on some of life's most fundamental truths. To this evening's finalists, it is my hope and prayer that your participation in this year's contest will be a step in your journey toward excellence and personal development. As, we, as several persons have mentioned already, you're all winners, and you all deserve a round of applause. For this year's college essay division, four students were selected, and they are all students of the University of the Bahamas. They were required to write an essay between 850 to 1,000 words on the selected law to be upset over what you do not have is to waste what you do have. And the winners are as follows. In the honorable mention category, Asia Davis. Coming in third place, Ide Thompson. Second place winner, Abigail Jones. Which means that our first place winner is none other than Michael Miller.
Michael, here we go again. So that's the last time for you. No more. <laughs> We're going to try to create something different next time. We have, we want you to know that our college division is only open to students involved enrolled, sorry, at a tertiary institution here in the Bahamas. So unfortunately, it's not for you when you go abroad. So just encouraging you to spend one or two years here. <laughs> Listen here, the preparation at UB, some of you, do UB a little bad? But back in the day, COB? Ask anybody who's here, COB graduate, show your hands. When I went off to school, I was 19 years old and I was a junior in college. And I had an English class where the professor said to me, dumb it down a little bit, you're throwing off the curb. And that was because I was a student of the College of the Bahamas. I gave it all the credit. But moving right along, I see the primary and the junior and the senior students just getting like, would she just hurry up? But coming up next, we have our primary awards. So I want you to get ready and give them big, <laughs> rousing applause. We're going to start with the honorable mention, and like I said, can't reiterate it again. Just because you're honorable mention doesn't mean, hey, I'm not the best. You are. You came honorable mention out of what? 970 plus students. So you still hold in your own with that. So we're going to call you in no particular order. And we're going to ask Dr. Sarazen if you would do the honors. Receiving honorable mention in the primary division, and as we said, this is open to students in grades five and six. Kinna Newton, and I apologize for any mispronunciations up front. Kinna Newton, Palmdale Primary School. <laughs> Philip Rowe, Stephen Dillett Primary School. Navon Bethel, St. Paul's Methodist College. <laughs> Lancino Bullard, Pirates Well Primary School. I don't think he is here because Mayaguana flights don't leave on Thursdays, only on Fridays, I understand, Monday and Friday. And this is the first time ever that we've had a student from Mayaguana. Jaden Lundy, whose parent will accept on his behalf, Yellow Elder Primary School. <laughs> Tia Isabella Adderley, Summit Academy. <laughs> Ayanna Harding, Queens College. <laughs> Jameek Moxie, Thelma Gibson Primary School. Amina Lede, Summit Academy. <laughs> Jacoby Joseph, Stephen Dillett Primary School. <laughs> Valencia Taylor, Cleveland Inez Primary School. <laughs> Vershawn Lines, Kingsway Academy. Malia Lede, Summit Academy. <laughs> Sana Barnes, Queens College. <laughs> Laquan Smith, Sadie Curtis Primary School. <laughs> Shamari Roll, Woodcock Primary School. Zia Rigby Summit Academy. <laughs> Kennedy Newry St. Anne's Primary School. <laughs> Elaine Green Sadie Curtis Primary School. <laughs> Annalisa Anthony Summit Academy. Sarai Smith, Woodcock Primary School. And Layla Sands, Queens College. 
Yeah. So moving on to fifth place in the primary division, we have Duran Neely of Kingsway Academy. And he is tied for fifth place with his schoolmate, Rishine Thomas of Kingsway Academy. In third place in the primary division, we have Rhea Hanna of Queens College. And tied for third place in the primary division, we have Ariadna Ambrista of Summit Academy. In second place, we have Cody Johnson of St. Yeah. Cecilia's Primary School. And in first place, we have Joshua Roll of Summit Academy. Now have our junior category, and we're going to call on Mrs. Alma Garraway, former permanent secretary in the Ministry of Education and Ministry of Health, and my former techniques and management lecturer who forced one of my colleagues to correct something on the program today, but we'll leave that to <laughs> ourselves. Because everything has to be perfect. If you know Mrs. G, it has to be perfect. Honorable mention, receiving honorable mention in the junior, juniors over here, hey, in the junior division. And as I said before, forgive me for any errors in pronouncing your names. Ayrton Munker, St. Andrew's School. Jack Barr, Summit Academy. Jazara Taylor Central Eleuthera High School. Andrew Coley Kingsway Academy. Israel Edgecombe Queens College. Danica Williams Kingsway Academy. Hayden Pratt Aquinas College. Rivaro Underwood Queens College. Jonathan Stubbs Queens College. Kareem Jones L.W. Young Junior High School. Haley Viken Summit Academy. Nabria Hamilton L.W. Young Junior High School. Aaliyah Harrison, Queens College. Thank you. Thank you. Miles Ferguson, St. Andrews School. Sanaa Knowles, Queens College. Shawnee Johnson, Aquinas College. Wallace Sinius, Junior Central Eleuthera High School. Kingman Ingram, St. Andrew's School. Michael Lockhart, North Eleuthera High School. And William Gardner, Queens College.
In sixth place in the junior division, we have Danielle Williams of Queens College. In fifth place in the junior division, we have Caleb Ferguson of St. Augustine's College. Tied for third place in the junior division, we have Tori Knowles of Central Eleuthera High School. And Craig Simmons of St. Augustine's College. In second place in the junior division, we have Taylor Adley of St. Augustine's College. And in first place in the junior division, receiving a prize of $600 and some others to come after this, we have Nadia Edwards of Summit Academy. So, so far, Summit has two wins, but they only go up to grade eight. <laughs> now on to the senior division. Receiving honorable mention in the senior division, we have Rebecca Bingham of St. Augustine's College. <laughs> Caleb Moss Mutri of Aquinas College. Jordan Francis, Queens College. Talia Roll, Kingsway Academy. Jada Culmer, Queens College. Ali Bo Lifeki International School. Deshaun Heald, Mary Star of the Sea Catholic Academy. Lanzita Shea, Queens College. Donovan Butler, St. Augustine's College. Camille Ryan, New Providence Classical School. Yana Swain, Mary Star of the Sea Catholic Academy. Sierra Ferguson, Aquinas College. <laughs> Thelema Barrow, Bishop Michael Eldon School. Okay. Alexia Dixon, C.R. Walker Senior High School. Phoebe Bergen, Forest Heights Academy. We have Hannah Lang of St. Paul's Methodist College. Reagan McKenzie of Windsor School, and Paul Roberts of Kingsway Academy.
In fourth place, we have William Moss of the Bishop Michael Eldon School. In a two-way tie for second place in the senior division, we have Abigail Daly of St. Paul's Methodist School. College, sorry. And Malia Neely of Queens College. And receiving first place in the senior division with a cash prize of $700 and a little bit more to come, Athneal Rodney of St. Augustine's College. For each school winner, the school of that student receives $1,000. And the student also receives $1,000 that we hope will go towards tuition. Or if you're in a public school, tuition supplies. At this time, we'd like to call on Mrs. Patricia Glinton Mikolas, a judge in the senior division, to help us to present. As she comes, I'm going to call the primary. And at this time, I would also wish for someone to come from the school, preferably a teacher or administrator, if they are present. In the primary division, Joshua Rolls, so someone from Summit Academy, Joshua receives $1,000 as a scholarship prize, and the school also receives a prize of $1,000, along with the Dr. John Templeton Memorial Floating Trophy. So we'll call Miss Nadia Edwards. She also receives $1,000, and the school receives another $1,000. And for the senior division, we'd like to call someone from St. Augustine's College along with Athneal Rodney, a $1,000 cash prize for the school and also a $1,000 scholarship prize along with the Dr. John Templeton Floating Trophy and the Sir John Templeton Memorial Floating Trophy for achieving the highest score in the competition. We want to congratulate all of you students one more time, your teachers, your parents, your school. And at this time, we're going to call Mrs. Mina Griffiths again to give the acknowledgments following which Pastor Lyle Bethel, in place of Pastor Alan Lee, our chief judge, who's not well tonight, will pronounce the benediction. Thank you. Good evening. I'm going to say this again. I say this every year, and I'm going to keep on saying it. It takes a whole lot of people to put on a program such as the Bahamas Laws of Life essay contest, and the last two years, the video contest. And this year, it was even more challenging. 2019 was a banner year for us, and as you've heard, we had 1,000 more entries than last year. They say that the gift of your time is the best gift one can give. The competition and tonight's award ceremony would not have been possible without the help of many who don't necessarily have the time, but they have the heart. And on behalf of the Templeton World Charity Foundation and the Templeton family, I'd like to thank all the students who participated in the contest, the parents, the teachers, and the school principals who encouraged them, the markers and the judges. And this year we were pleased to have, um, to welcome several new judges. We have two new judges on our essay contest and two new judges on the video contest. And if they're here, please, I'd like you to stand. We'd like to give you a proper welcome. Ms. Letha Strawn, Ms. Sally Fernanda, our essay judges, uh, Mrs. Ramona Wells, Palmdale Primary School 2009 finalists for that rousing welcome. I thought that was super. You guys should take that on the road. <laughs> Kareem Jones for introducing our speaker, who gave us a good background of him. Thank you. 
And um, the Honorable Mark Humes, the Member of Parliament for Fort Charlotte, who graciously took time out of his ta a busy schedule to stand in for the Minister of Education. And I hope you all listen to him and what do you say? To strive for excellence, okay? Sierra Walker High, boy, senior pop band. I tell you, I don't know how many of you knew Georgia on my mind in this room tonight, because <laughs> it dates us, but he gave us super, super rendition of, I think it was great. <laughs> Dr. Saracen, Andrew Saracen, our president, and also our Templeton team, two of them are here tonight, Sandra Darvel and Tracy Farkison. They do a lot of the background work. Um, Mrs. Patrice Simonet of Telios Ministries. The counselors team, Ms. Joan Albury, Wendell Clear, who's been photographing and videographing us from the very beginning. Thank you. Judy Roll Brown who's my gopher. She does, oh, I tell you, she does everything that I don't do. And she also is responsible for the flowers tonight and the palms. The writing unit from the Ministry of Education. <laughs> Words fail me, let me tell you. Liesl Wright and her, her team, um, Linda Carly, who was a part of the writing unit for years, who's retired, but she's come out last two years to help us again. And with the invaluable assistance, without their invaluable assistance, this competition would not be possible. We are really grateful for their continued support. The British Colonial Hotel, Hilton Hotel, especially Mrs. Deanna Thompson and her support team for hosting and helping to organize tonight's ceremony. And I know you're gonna enjoy the food that they've prepared for you out there. Last but not least, I did say this before, but I'll say it again. Pastor Bethel, who will give us the, the benediction and, and the blessing the food. But as you go forth, I leave you with these words from the Dalai Lama. When you talk, you are only repeating what you know. But if, when you listen, you might learn something new. Good night, and thank you all for coming.